we begin creating the golden fire generator with a strand of 12 gauge wire. We pull the strand, about 44 feet of it, fold it in half, hang it on the hook, and they put the other ends in the drill. Now this is the part which is the most important on the energetics, which is the anchoring in of the etheric templates into the crystalline copper of the structure as the wire is being turned. So we measure to make sure that the wire is as tightly wound as we need it for whatever specific project. This one is the 4 inch golden fire generator. Now we set the jigs, which is cut to a, that very specific measurement within that hundred thousandths of a centimeter. And once we slide that twisted wire into the jigs, they are cut and the ends are ground smooth to get rid of the slag that comes off of the ends. Now a lot of times we will double check these on our digiscope just to ensure that the measurements are still being cut to the exact measure. As you'll see, she'll also compare it to the jig that we used just to double sure that the measurement is correct. And so during this process for the generators, we end up cutting four wires a piece and Obviously, we cut the entire strand as you see here. Now the wires are being offset so that the ends are being uh, so that the ends can be brought back together again. So basically, you, we are sliding one end of the wire past just a little bit as you see here, so that when we bring the ends together into a circle, we'll be able to tell which wire meets up with which wire so that they meet upon themselves. Because again, copper is a crystal structure, and as it holds that, that crystalline alignment, it creates that piezoelectric flow of energy. Now as you notice that he's created three circles and the horseshoe, and that is how we make the generators. So he'll bring the ends together, ensuring that each wire meets back upon itself and creates a perfect joint. Now back to the crystalline structure of the wire. As that wire is created um, and it's aligned, all the crystal structure, we fold the wire in half and then we twist it and then we cut it to that sacred measurement. So then there is a flow of piezoelectric energy that is flowing both ways within each ring. And then it's that specific measure that is the energetic, um, the antenna to the energetic templates. And here they get brazed. The brazing was a, is with an oxygen acetylene torch, and we use bronze. And it's just a very little amount of bronze. Then it goes into the pickle pot, the acid pot, rinsed off. And now then, as you heat up copper, it makes the crystalline structure just kind of shatter. It expands around, so they become softer. So when we are hammering here, we are bringing the crystalline alignment back into the copper that was heated. So not only does it harden the copper, but we actually will hammer the entire ring of every ring that comes through just to ensure that all the crystalline structure is aligned. And as you see here, we do stress the safety gear and ventilation is important. So now then we're going through and working on the welds with the Dremels. Now this is quite the tedious process. So we have polishers and grinders. We have several of these stations set up at Twisted Sage Studios where basically we go in and we clear up the connections where the welds were. Then we use this specific grid of wheel on a lathe that is working on smoothing out any of the grind marks from the wheels, but then we're also smoothing out any of the tooling marks that came from the pliers. Then we run it onto a smoother wheel and we bring it in to be assembled. So the assembly process here, you look super easy. That's after you've made a few hundred or so of these things that it comes together so easy of this weave pattern of the over under over under weave of all three rings and then we're running that fourth ring through it. 
So this can be, again, a daunting task. And then it's bringing the ends back together so that these two ends on the fourth ring are meeting up. And then, of course, it goes back to the welders for the brazing end of that fourth ring. And, of course, everything gets ground, buffered again. So instead of hammering that fourth ring, we run it extra on the buffers in order to bring that hardness back to it. So everything up to this point takes about 40 minutes. It's about a 38-minute process uh, without breaks to create that generator. The process that you're seeing here, the rounding, that takes about another 20 to 30 minutes. Then we drop it in the shaker. Uh, it's a corn husk shaker. It just polishes it, brings it to its fine sheen, as you see here. And that is the construction of the 4-inch Golden Fire Generator.